try it and see what happens. Um, see, you know, it gives us the opportunity to watch the north end circumstance and right turn in without making it um, the worst of all, or the, the biggest of changes that would happen in that, that, um, that peak time. Um, and, and not, you know, the entire time. Um, and I do, I still think that, you know, maybe we don't put as many in, but we try some, some speed humps on the road to be able to address the southbound, you know, intruders, if you will, uh, to try to mitigate the, the concerns um, with out of town or, I guess, out of town and in town um, folks who are using it as, as a, uh, a, a speed alternative. I, I really think the solution is in a combination of these things uh, in some um, maybe more limited measure. Put three speed humps in at critical locations and use the um, do not enter from three to six on weekdays as a, uh, a pilot, if you will, and move from there. Yeah, I just been, just, just need work. Yeah, just about, just about. Yes, that's recent. That's why I'm talking. How's that? Yeah, just listen to everybody. It is a hot solution, and I've just been sitting back listening to everyone, and uh, it, it's, it's real tough. I don't depend on Rhode Island for too much, so we have to do it on our own. And I think what Mr. Zelensky just said, with the best of both worlds, uh, I think is a great idea, and I think. Maybe the speed bumps after listening to people who actually know about speed bumps. I don't really know about them. I thought it was a bad idea, but it could slow everything down. I think the best of both worlds is what he just proposed, and uh, I, I think that's a great thing at this point. Mr. President, uh, I mentioned at one of the previous meetings, and like the administrator said, we had at least six or eight meetings on this. Uh, my concern is running those school buses and making a right turn on 146A into Sales Hill Road. Those buses are maybe 53 feet long. They cannot turn without going off the road there. I say they can't turn from that lane without going off the road, and I don't know if anybody's tested it. But under state law, before you change a school bus route, you have to have the police department approved. That's state law. You, so therefore, you can't turn around and start making stops here, hither and that gone. You have to have at least the bottom of the loop. I suggest that I, I was a speed bump advocate. I think it will work. Uh, I would suggest, and I know Mr. Zelensky's got the two zero six or speed at six thirty three. I would think if we had, with the exception of school buses, I'd still run those school buses in from Sales Hill Road. The reason being, the bus is going to have to go out in that second lane to make the turn. And when they're in that second lane, they're opening the right side of that bus up to someone hitting them on the right side. And that's where the fuel tank is, <coughs> although it has a bar, and that's where you're going in. And I think, I would want to, I mean, I'm not going to vote for anything where the school buses don't uh, have access to the other end. Whatever the motion is going to be, my restriction is going to be that the school buses have to enter from sales over. We can check on the last times that the buses are going down that road yeah. and take that into consideration. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But I think Paul came up with really pot, a pot care for this problem. And if we, it, <laughs> this is like the work of uh, a few speed bumps, I think that would be helpful as well. And whenever at one of our wonderful North Midfield offices can kind of scoop by there um, to make people aware that town offices are, are keeping an eye on things also. Okay. Yeah, you know, I feel so sorry. It's a beautiful world. Knew it well in my youth. I won't say which part of it, but knew it well in my youth. And to see, you have to endure this at this time of your lives.
We can, if we start, we can try. If it doesn't work, we can change. But we have to start somewhere. Okay, uh, Mr. Zulinski, do you want to make a motion? Yes, Mr. President. Um, look, I just want to make this, everybody knows this. Monday through Friday is not going to address this, the weekend traffic. If it's a no turn between three and six. But we have to start somewhere. Uh, this is all an effort of safety. And I think we do it progressively. We start with do not turn Monday through Friday, three to six school buses would be exempt, of course. And uh, if that doesn't work, then we, we come back, we revisit it. Possible speed humps or possible do not enter. But going back 13, 12, 13 years now, I've, I've always been saying it's what's going to happen here. Not like I want to be the soothsayer, but it was predictable. Um, so I think the least intrusive would be do not turn 3 to 6 Monday through Friday. If that doesn't work, then we revisit it. But we need to get some almost immediate safety relief out there. And as we spoke about in one of the uh, council meetings, open meetings, was to ask the chief to bring out the, uh, the information board, the lit up information board, starting at a certain date, no turn between 3 and 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. We have uh, police officers stationed there uh, enforcing that. And if that doesn't work, then we'll take other actions. But I, I don't know that we want to go with speed bumps along with. So my motion will be to uh, have the traffic, uh, to change it to be no, no turn onto Old Smithfield Road between 3 and 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. With buses accepted. With buses accepted. I second that motion. Uh, we have a second. Second. Any further discussion? School buses, not all buses. Yeah. That's a motion. The yeah. we're, 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 we're in a meeting. We're in a meeting. A motion is to It's a motion. It's only first meeting. Motion to amend. That's a motion to amend. Yeah. Okay, so we have a motion and we have a second, correct? Okay, any further discussion? All right, roll call. Mr. Howard? Yes. Mr. McGee? Yes. Mrs. O'Hara? Yes. Mr. Zulensky? Yes. Mr. Yes. Are we going to need a motion to continue the public input to a date certain? So. Well, no, technically, we need a public hearing to open the public hearing. Well, I, I want to make it a public opening so okay. folks can speak. But the matter is going to continue to a meeting. So on the 29th, we just have budget, correct? Yeah, we're going to have Okay, so the first meeting in July. Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, the no first meeting in July. The meeting is going to continue. What date is it going to be? July 17th. There is no meeting on the Okay, so I'll make a motion for the July 17th. <coughs> All right, before we move on to the uh, budget, we're just going to take a quick, uh, quick recess.